Good afternoon, everybody. It's PT and Co. We're up here at uh, A12 Studios in yep. uh, beautiful Abbotsford, Canada. And we are pretty excited, like we always are, on these live streams. New uh, products. We've, we've got a new product. We always have new products, don't we, Chris? Well, we try to. Yeah, yeah. for sure. Um, so we got about 10 minutes of information for you guys. We're really excited about this product. It solves a really, really common problem for your 6, 7 Cummins owners. Um, and what, what is it, Paul? What is it? Well, we like to call it the Killer Grid Heater Upgrade Kit. So this is going to be for your 2007 to 2024 yep. uh, 6.7 Rams. Okay, got the Cummins engine. This is the 2500 and 3500s, the big boys. The part number for this guy, if you want to order it right away, is 1041520. Uh, one of the better things about this product, Chris, is the install time. Super easy to install. Right. Um, only adds about another half an hour to any kind of other grid plate you might be doing. Um, it is fully missions compliant. So Perfect. 50 state legal, you can sell it anywhere. Um, one of the best things it's got going also is it's not throwing any engine codes. Um, there's other alternative um, options out there for grid heater upgrades and repairs. Um, and we, we know that ours doesn't throw any, any P codes. So that's always good. Um, and again, a really great thing about this is the map price on it. Um, so if you're in the U.S., just under 200 bucks. Um, if you're up here in Canada, you're looking at 267. And as we show you, this is a very, very small investment in what could be a potentially catastrophic failure of your engine. You so, um, yeah, we're going to dive into why we developed this product in the first place. Um, and as we always like to do, Chris, this is a really, really common problem with these trucks. Mm -hmm. um, it's become more prevalent in the last few years. And basically what's happening here, Chris, is this is, this is the, uh, the grid heater as it exists today um, in your stock truck. And this nut here, this is the problematic nut. What's going to happen? There's about 200 amps that's pumping through this nut right now, which is a lot of amperage to go through that. Mm -hmm. The other thing that's happening is you're gonna have heat cycling um, and variation that's gonna cause this guy, this lower bus bar, is that yep, this guy? lower bus bar. This guy's gonna start to wiggle, and over time, those two things are gonna combine to have this thing melt right off and possibly fall right into one of your cylinders, which yep. is cylinder number six. Yep. Um, what happens when, when nuts fall into cylinders, Chris? It takes out uh, number six <laughs> piston and uh, engine failure, for sure. So huge problem. Expensive. Huge problem. Yeah, you're looking at probably a $10,000 repair for something like that. Yep. Um, and something you could easily avoid uh, with a $200 kit. Um, the, other, the other challenge, I think, out there in the market right now, there's not a lot of cost-effective solutions. Right. Um, we know there are some other ones if you're looking to spend $1,000, bucks. Right. Um, but if you're looking for something that's cheap, cost effective, and gets the job done, um, this is the one for you. So, Chris, why don't you take us through some of the features and benefits of this guy? Well, the features are like the big thing is, is it gets rid of the problematic uh, nut there that erodes, I would call it, from the, from the power going through it and then falls off and goes into the cylinder. So, what we've done is we've created a a new lower bus bar, very heavy duty, much thicker than the factory one, and doesn't have uh, the same fastening system as this one has. It doesn't have a separate nut. It actually threads right into the bar that can handle way more current than the, this current system does. So uh, we, we give you a whole new bar for that, uh, a new upper uh, bus bar plastic piece we had custom made for us um, that allows us to use a bolt and some insulators and a nut and everything. To, uh, to bolt the new one on here, you can see that's how the new one goes right like that. So um, yeah, the nice thing about this kit is it allows you to fix it without having to get rid of the grid heater. Uh, some, um, you know, there's, there's ways you can do it where you can use like a smaller heater and still have a bit of heat, but it's not the same amount of heat as the, the factory one makes. And definitely uh, some people need to retain the full the full yeah. heat output of that grid heater, right? Yeah, you bet. And on like later model trucks, 13 and up and stuff, it's a little more sensitive to how much current is being pulled from the heater. Mm -hmm. And uh, if you don't use the right amount, you'll throw check engine light and stuff like that. And so we don't, we want to avoid that. And with this kit, you, you don't have that problem. And the other thing is the $195 price point, right? You can do this at home. You get everything you need. We even supply you the little wrench for, for undoing the nuts and the hard to reach places in here and stuff like that. So we give you the nut and the torx fit and everything you need to install it. Um, so this yeah, is so something somebody could do in the driveway if they wanted to, Oh, right? for sure, yeah. And while you're in there, you know, clean the grid heater, 
Everybody knows about the grid heaters getting full of soot and stuff like that. You know, it gives you an opportunity to clean that up, get some more airflow to the engine uh, without having to change the whole intake system, right? So awesome. Yeah, it's a it's gonna save you if if you haven't done this already. Um, this is something for for like the price point on it, something to do in, in your driveway and possibly save you, like you say, ten thousand dollars, right? Even if they and that's only if they do one cylinder, like fix one piston, right? Um, it's gonna be an expensive bill. So excellent. Yeah. And what, uh, so who's the ideal customer? Who's the kind of person that needs to get this under truck? Well, first of all, a person that hasn't upgraded this yet. So <laughs> yeah, it's going to happen. So it's just a ticking time bomb type thing. So if you fixed it, then you may not be the ideal customer. Is there but... is there a way for our dealers or for customers to know whether or not this is a problem? Is there a, is there, um, is there maybe a wiggle yeah, test? Yeah, you can do something? a little bit of a wiggle test or something like that. But mostly, you know, if you haven't fixed it yet, uh, for the price of it, just get it done and maybe have your local shop put it in next time they do, um, you know, oil change or something like that while it's in on the next service, right? Because it's only going to take them an hour to change it. Right. Um, or if you're doing injectors or something and you're on this side of the engine, on the driver's side of the engine, right. and you got all the injector lines off already and the intake horns off already, you're, you're halfway there. Hmm. You might as well just finish the job off. And, and I think that's where we're going to see a lot of our our dealers and installers doing these like you're oh we're already in here let's do this killer upgrade kit yeah great because you're gonna save on the labor and stuff because yeah. you're already in there right so um i think that's a that's a good point for that for sure okay um so you yeah the people that want to buy it these are people that want to prevent that ca catastrophe exactly in the first sorry place. i should have said that yeah um they definitely Someone wants to save 10 grand <laughs> <laughs> there's also what about people in colder climates that are probably a little bit more reliant on this those guys yeah for sure because they're, they're they're cycling this more right this is kicking on more in cold temperatures and uh, not so much in the in the lower warmer states but uh yeah for sure definitely in the yeah, awesome space, awesome but... and this uh these this product is available today um it's actually started uh selling a couple weeks ago yeah a couple weeks ago started shipping them so yeah we're selling them like hot cakes um so whether it's on our b2b portal or whether you're buying it on our consumer websites mm -hmm. uh, again it's part number 104 1520 off the top of my head yep um check us out on youtube for more great content and product launches and uh, I think we got a closing video here to wrap up some of the, uh, the features of this product. Thanks for joining us today.